a potato. So I was watching Homegrown Country Homestead the other day, and he had a great video of him planting his garden with his family. And he was talking about the dis one of the big disadvantages of clay soil and just how it it's, it gets real clumpy and it can get as hard as rock. Relating how he had to spend a lot of time tilling it out. And uh, we don't have that problem on this field. It's not the clay that has the problem. It's the rocks. Uh, hard on equipment. Hard on your knees if you're not paying attention. But, uh, yeah, there's challenges everywhere, but if you haven't checked out his channel, Homegrown Country Homestead, a great channel, a lot of great content, and real nice family. And uh, we can commiserate a little bit about disadvantages of different soil. Uh, we have some spots of clay, so we know what that's like. Uh, not only does it, does it get lumpy, but it can get as hard as a rock. And forget it when it rains. You know, the, the water will just sit there forever. So uh, check out that. And uh, I'll keep working around these potatoes. So we've set up our line for our shell peas and our snap peas. And one step that we have to do that not everyone else has to take is we have to actually cultivate underneath the string. Uh, even though we just tilled, uh, our soil is awfully rocky. And this is after generations of rock being picked off of it. And uh, it's really hard on our little earthway cedar. Uh, to plant, push it down these rows uh, with the rocks buried underneath the soil. The, the tiller in a lot of cases just buries the rock, uh, but as soon as you try to push a cedar through there you find it. These are all the rocks that I've uncovered just by cultivating under the string here. So that's the first step. The next step is we'll actually rake it out. Uh, we'll take a rake and just rake the rock to the side to be picked up later. And then finally uh, we'll actually start seeding. So when you're looking at a property for your homestead, find out about the soil. It's a nice, loomy, sandy ground. You know, there's a disadvantages to those. Sandy, anyways. You know, the, the moisture and the, the fertilizer can go right through it. Uh, but you want that loamy, rock-free soil if you can get it. It's not always an option. A lot of the best farms, and, you know, aren't available. Uh, people aren't selling those, or they've been turned into the housing developments and the, you get a, that rocky soil that's left but uh yeah try to get rock free if you can it's easier on your equipment easier on you especially if you take a knee to a down on a rock that you're not paying attention to so uh we'll get this raked out and we'll see if we can get some peas in so we got the rose raked out the old man's got the snap peas started. He's put in a half a row of shell. And it's a little early, but we're going to try putting some uh, green and yellow beans in. Wax beans. Or as uh, I think our friends down south like to say, butter beans. But uh, we use an earthway seeder to do our seeding uh, for beans and for peas so that's what the old man's doing now is just changing out the plates and putting the seed in I got the job of the rock and uh, setting up the strings so I'll see if I can get a shot of him uh, pushing the cedar